Oh, very good, very good. The stocks are doing nicely, I see. <laughs> oh, hello there. My name is Christian from Jameson's team, and I have brought you all together here to teach you how to update your Fishbill database. <laughs> okay, so first we're going to open the Fishbill server, and it's going to tell us that there's a new version available. We're going to click the Download Latest Version button, and it's going to take us to the Software Updates page. We'll click on the newest version, and then the Windows version of Fishbill Inventory, and it will download already. The second way of checking your Fishbill version is by clicking the red lightning bolt in the top right hand corner of the client. This will show you your current version of Fishbill and the most up-to-date version of Fishbill that is available to you. Next, we're going to run the install file of Fishbill inventory. We can do this either from the downloads or from wherever we save that file to. It's going to bring up the Fishbill install wizard now. In order for us to run this installation, we need to turn off the server and all Fishbowl applications, including the client. The next thing we're going to do is create a backup of your Fishbowl database, any customized reports, and all images that are ever used in Fishbowl. So what we're going to do is go to our Fishbowl directory, we're going to go to our database folder, data folder, and we're going to find our Fishbowl database. We're going to right click on it, go to copy, and then go to the desktop. We're going to now right click go to new and we're going to create a new folder. We're going to name this Fishbowl Backup or anything else that you want to call it. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to right click on the folder. We're going to go to paste so we can paste in that Fishbowl database copy that we created. Next we're going to go back to our Fishbowl directory. We're going to click on our server folder and right click on the reports folder. We're going to copy this and then we're going to go over to our Fishbowl Backup folder, right click on it and click paste. Okay, now that we have our reports copied and backed up into our Fishbowl backup folder, we're going to need to go back to our Fishbowl directory, and now we're going to copy our images. We're going to go to the database folder and just right click on that folder that says images and click copy. We're going to go to our Fishbowl backup, right click on it, and click paste. So now that we have all three of those things copied, if we go into our Fishbowl backup, you'll see that we have all three, our images, reports, and database, all copied into our Fishbowl backup folder. The only thing left is to start an installation. We'll do that by clicking Next, and we'll click I accept the agreement, and click Next. From here, we'll click Current Fishbowl User, and we're going to want to select the option Server with Client. In this next step, we're going to choose where Fishbowl is going to be installed. If you need to change the directory name, you can here. Um, these are the fishbowl icons that we can put on the desktop of the computer and you can choose whatever combination you would like. Once you click next, fishbowl will start extracting all the files and start the installation process. And this can take a few minutes. This next step is going to show your company name and your license key. If you've received a new license key for a newer version of fishbowl, you can enter it here and we'll click next and then finish you have successfully installed the new version of Fishbowl. The next step we need to take is we need to start up the server, so we'll click the Fishbowl server icon right here. And you'll see in the bottom right hand corner the Fishbowl server icon appear. This database update window is going to tell you that it needs to update your Fishbowl database to the newest version as well, so you click OK, and this window that pops up is going to tell us exactly what's going on during this process. Once it is done, your Fishbowl server will automatically start. Once your Fishbowl server has fully started, your Fishbowl server update is complete. You can see here that you are now updated to 12.7 version. And that is how you update Fishbowl inventory. Tip of the week.